Hello? Who's there? Mom? My name is Colin, and I'm not like all of you. We all hear things that go bump in the night. For most people, it's just the house settling or a branch scraping the window. But for others, people like me, it's something more real. This is me. It's been a week since the accident that took my father. Before then, my life had been normal, redundant, and completely unremarkable. This experience wrenched me from my routine so violently that it caused irrevocable damage to my mind. Now, I've become reclusive and distant. And for me, nothing will ever be the same. Schizophrenia um, is a psychotic disorder, and you need to meet at least two of the five criteria. Those five criteria mainly focus on delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, disorganized behavior, and what they call negative symptoms. Onset can be, um, traditionally, I think onset's going to be in the early 20s, um, late teens, 18, 19, 18 to 25 is when typically uh, onset occurs and it's more predominant in males than females. Um, but there are cases where it has shown up later in life as well as earlier in life, but traditionally um, early, early 20s is onset. It can be treated effectively with medication. However, um, unlike other disorders where medications are um, absorbed in the body and remain in the body for periods of time if a dose is skipped, uh, Individuals with schizophrenia, the, the medication they have to take has to be taken regularly or they go right back to that state of mind. Um, so it is, it's sometimes difficult to treat because uh, depending on the type of schizophrenia, those individuals would prefer to be in that psychotic state than um, in a more realistic state. For schizophrenics like me, the hallucinations are as real as everything else. Most of the time they're just voices whispering from far away, but every now and then they're visual. Generally visual hallucinations can cause a much stronger reaction in the sufferer, normally causing a psychotic break. They can come in any form or fashion. Um, typically hallucinations or they can uh, be any of the five senses, but usually visual, visual hallucinations or auditory. So they might hear voices or see uh, apparitions, things that aren't really there. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be related to anything in their past. Um, it could just be something that they've been fixated on. So if there was a particular movie that an individual was fixated on, maybe those characters were talking to them. People that have psychotic episodes, whether it's brought on by alcohol, drugs, um, a breakdown of some sort, that would be the extreme death of themselves, you know, suicide or homicide. Um, I think depending on the individual and the type of schizophrenia they have would also vary with the um, number of psychotic episodes that they have. Um, some people that hear voices might not act out in an aggressive way, whereas others do. So again, it's going to depend on the individual and the type of schizophrenia. These voices are normally demonic and evil. And they try to convince me to do things I don't want to do. But sometimes they succeed.
During a psychotic breakdown, the mind is completely shattered. It's like it's dislodged from its earthly limitations, but you're still trapped. It's like I'm blind, but I can see, but it's just like I can't feel, but I can sense it always feels like there's someone right in front of me standing right there waiting for me I can hear things sometimes my family calling out for me my brother and my my dad but but, that, but I know it's not real it's just figments of my sick imagination. It's not all bad, though. In a way, I know myself better now than I ever did before. It's kind of nice just drifting. I don't have to worry about anything anymore. In fact, I kind of like it. Why don't you join me?